What's up guys, welcome back to the Mountaintop. I'm Cody and today we have an awesome one planned for you. We are going to be taking these two old scopes off some guns that I have. Um, these guys just don't work anymore. I could never get them zeroed in. So what we're gonna be doing today is we are going to be trying to shoot down these scopes and see what happens. We have a watermelon set up behind them and we're gonna see if it can travel all the way through and hit this steel plate. The gun we're gonna be using is this Savage Model 110 Precision. It's chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. We actually had this in a previous video where we showed people how to sight in guns. If you haven't seen that video already, you're curious about how to sight a gun in, definitely go check that out. Um, but with that being said, we're gonna back up to about 75 yards and then we are going to put a couple down range and see if we can't mess these scopes up. If you watched that last video where we sighted this gun in, we sighted it in for 200 yards. So at 100 yards, it was shooting about two inches high. I brought it down two inches here. I'm gonna shoot it at a target real quick just to see where I'm at to get a good judgment of how well I need to compensate. And then we will go to the scope without stopping. So we're gonna do two bullets back to back real quick. That was dead center bullseye down there, so. Ready? Ready. We got a direct hit on that thing. I'm so excited to see what this looks like. All right, let's run down there. Gun's clear. That right there is where the scope kicked back. There's glass all over this thing. There is the inside of it. The bullet came right out the side. I think it hit and immediately twisted inside of that thing. But you can see where that scope slammed into this watermelon right here. I mean, it, it's hard to tell how far it went into that thing. You'll have to see in the video. Let's crack this thing open. Look at how far it pushed the core of that thing back into there. It was way back in here. I'm trying not to get glass on myself, but I mean, that is just insane. You can see where the scope was traveling in through here. It hit in there. But I mean, this watermelon, man, it just destroyed that thing. Oh, there's the inside of that. You do not want to breathe that stuff in. I mean, you can see that on the inside. I mean, it just destroyed that thing. There you go. Now that you can see some light through it, put some light through that thing. That is just insane. All right, guys, that is all for the first scope. That's what we've got left. It was sitting like this right here, so that bullet came in and went a little bit low. So let's try this second one. We've got another watermelon. We have a second scope here. I'm going to pull these scope mounts off of this one. These are just some old plastic scope mounts. I'm going to pull the scope mounts off of that one, put them on this one, and we're going to set up. We'll see you back down there. All right, guys. All right, so the bullets we're using are 140 grain Hornady ELD match bullets. So they got a really soft tip. So I, they're not going to really travel through this scope as well as, say, like a full metal jacket or something. Those full metal jackets aren't really going to break up. Um, so we're going to drop one more in and let's see what it does to this next scope. And um, one thing I want to touch base on with this Savage is it looks like it's off safety right now, but it actually has a half cock or like a half safety and a full safety. So on your full safety, you can't open the bolt. The bolt won't move. Um, but if you slide it forward to the half safe, you can open this bolt and you can't pull the trigger. So when you slide it all the way forward, you're ready to go. Ready? Ready. I saw that one. I think that one kind of powderized a little bit more than that last one. But let's go ahead and pop this shell out, put this thing on half safety, and let's go see what happens. Oh man, this thing is just covered in like powdered glass. 
I mean, it is just crunchy to the touch. That is so weird. Yeah, it is crunchy to the touch. All right, so where did that scope even go? It's right here. Oh my gosh. Look, there's a piece of like metal sticking out of it right there. You can just see where it got peppered with glass and metal shards. And I mean, it split this thing wide open. I have no idea what is on the inside of this thing. Oh my gosh. All right, so check this out. Look down in there. Look at all that metal and stuff down in there. Hold on. Let me, let me grab a stick so that I'm not digging around with my hand. Oh, you know, get some watermelon on me. All right, yeah, check out that. Those are shards of metal inside of that thing coming out of that scope. Check that out. I think we had a little bit better of a result with that one. I mean, that guy is just, yeah, cloudy. You can't even see down it. There was just pieces. Of, oh my gosh, no way. Holy crap. All right, so there, that is awesome. There is the front of the scope. So this was here, and you can just see where, like I said before we shot, that bullet, you know, it just expanded. It went in here, it hit that first piece of glass, and it just, I mean, it just exploded. Look at that. Look at how it split that thing. And then the bullet, I guess, you know, it probably came out the bottom because you can see where shards of it hit there. That is just insane. Look at how much, how stretched that metal is and stressed from that. That is crazy. So that's all the scopes we brought to destroy today. I'm probably going to buy some more, some real cheap scopes or something and try this again with like a full metal jacket or something because that, the results were just so cool. On both of these scopes, we had them go in, hit this first magnification piece and then the bullet just expanded and went wherever it wanted and then just exploded i think with a full metal jacket we'd have a lot fuller trajectory we might be able to see something different but either way if something like this you know were to happen if you were holding a gun and a bullet was to strike it even if you know this happened and the bullet you know didn't make it to you that force of that thing slamming into the scope obviously is detrimental i mean you can see like all the i mean look at that that thing just falling apart there's you know shards in this thing you can see how hard i mean it just punched straight through that watermelon and watermelons are pretty darn tough so if you want to see something like that if you want to see me do it again with like full metal jackets or something be sure to like the video and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel push that little bell beside the subscribe button so you know when we post the video again and we'll see you next time